We are going to learn about electric fields for this lesson. We have learned that there are positively charged and negatively charged substances in this world. For the first case, both charges are unlike charges, so they attract. While for the second and third, they are unlike char they are like charges, sorry. So both of them they repel. These are the diagrams of electric field lines for positive and negative charge. For positive charge, the field lines are directed away from the charge. While for negative charge, the field lines are directed towards the charge. So, as we know that, like charge repel and unlike charge they attract. So, when there is a negative charge here, it will be attracted towards the positive charge. If there is a positive charge here, the positive charge will repel. Same goes to negative charge. When there is a unlike charge, positive charge, it will be attracted towards the negative charge. And if there is a oh, sorry, negative charge here, it will be repelled. As we all know, electrons carry charges. So, the unit for charges is Coulomb, which represented by the capital letter C. For each electron, the value is negative 1.6 times 10 power of negative 19 Coulomb. However, the negative charge here, the negative value over here, doesn't mean that the value is a negative value. Instead, it shows that the electron carries a negative charge but not a positive charge. Now, I'm going to show you different types of electric field lines under different conditions. The first condition, where there are two unlike spherical charges, I assume this as positive and this as negative. The direction of electric field lines will be pointing from the positive charge towards the negative charge. And this is how the electric field lines look like. The second condition, where there are two light charges, I assume, this as positive and this as positive, direction of electric field lines will be pointed outwards as well. You can see a region here, we call it a neutral point, due to the repel of two spherical charges. And for the third condition, where there are two positively, oh no, sorry, when there are one positively charged plate and another negatively charged plate, the electric field lines will be uniform except for the sides. And still, it obeys the rule where the lines pointed from the positive charge to the negative charge. And for the fourth condition, there is a one spherical charge here, I assume this as a positive, and one unlike plate here. 
which is a negative plate. So, the electric field lines will not be uniform. And it will be pointing from the positive spherical charge to the negative plate. That's all for the electric fields. I hope you understand well about this. See you next time.